everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. This video is another installment in my Thanks Living or Thanksgiving video series. The last time I was with you all, we made an amazing sweet potato casserole. And today we're going to be sticking with the starches still and I'm going to show you guys how to make some mashed potatoes. However, mashed potatoes are a little basic and I didn't just wanna make a video just about boiled potatoes. So we're also going to be making a mushroom gravy for you all. So let's just get into the recipe. Okay, first we're going to start with the gravy. You're going to need eight ounces of baby bell mushrooms, vegetable stock, nutritional yeast, black pepper, and cornstarch. So add your mushrooms to a pot over medium heat. And then just to get things started, I'm going to add a splash of water and mix that in while the mushrooms cook down. When the mushrooms cook down, there will be a little bit of mushroom liquid left in the bottom of the pot. And now we're going to add two tablespoons of nutritional yeast and two cups of vegetable broth. And then you can just stir everything together. Next, we're going to make our slurry which is a fancy term for cornstarch and water. So you're just going to add one tablespoon of cornstarch and a fourth of a cup of cold water. And you're going to mix this together. And this is so when you add the cornstarch to the pot, you don't have any leftover clumps of cornstarch and everything mixes evenly. So before I add my slurry, I'm just going to add a few cracks of fresh black pepper and you can add as much as you would prefer. Then I'm going to add the slurry to the pot and then just slowly bring this mixture to a simmer. And when the mixture starts to heat up, it will activate the cornstarch and this will cause this liquid to become thicker. Now personally for me, only one tablespoon of cornstarch did not work. I ended up adding another tablespoon of cornstarch and a fourth of a cup of water to this liquid in order to get it to the thicker consistency that I like. I would suggest just keeping it by you while you're cooking this gravy. And if it's not thick enough, you can add a little more cornstarch. But once it starts to get thick and bubble like it is right now, that's when I think the gravy is a pretty good consistency, so I knew it was done. And that's it for this gravy. It's super simple, but I still think it's really flavorful and it's really easy to make. Now we're going to move on to our mashed potatoes. So for that, we're going to need one cup of soy milk, some garlic powder, nutritional yeast, and fresh parsley. And obviously, we're also going to need some potatoes. I decided to use red potatoes here. So this is pretty self-explanatory. You're just going to bring a large pot of water to a boil and add in all of your potatoes. I like to keep the skins on my potatoes, but if you wanted to peel your potatoes, you totally could. And you're just going to bring the water back to a boil and cook the potatoes for eight to 10 minutes or until they're fork tender. As you can see here, my fork goes through them really, really easily. Then you're just going to drain your potatoes and return them to the same pot. Now you're going to add in your plant milk of choice. I'm using soy milk because it's the creamiest. Then you're going to add your nutritional yeast and your garlic powder. And then you're just going to mix everything together using an electric mixer. Now, depending on your potatoes, they may not be quite as smooth and fluffy as you'd like. And mine were a little bit dry still, so I just added a splash of water right here. And then I blended everything together again, and this helped me get that nice, creamy mashed potato texture that I was really looking for. So just sort of play it by ear. Finally, I'm adding in some fresh parsley to my mashed potatoes just to add an extra dimension of flavor. And after that, you should be left with this fluffy cloud of delicious potatoes, plus some great mushroom gravy to go on the side. And when you're ready to eat, simply plop as many fluffy clouds of potatoey goodness into your plate or bowl and top with the mushroom gravy. All right guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you are enjoying this Thanksgiving recipe series. Even if you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, these are all awesome fall recipes and who doesn't love mashed potatoes and gravy anyways? If you do want to see more videos from me, be sure you are subscribed to this channel. We have two more Thanksgiving recipes that we're going to be sharing with you guys. I don't know why I'm saying we because it's just me, so I guess I have two more recipes to be sharing with you all. But that is it. I will talk to you all later. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.